Scholarships are such a powerful way that students can knock off tens of thousands of dollars for their cost of college, or maybe even get to a free ride like I did. I'll share more about that in just a moment. But one of the biggest barriers for students when it comes to getting that free ride or winning scholarships is often their scholarship list. I would say the majority of the time when I find families where they say, my student says that they're applying to dozens and dozens of scholarships and they're just not hearing back. Most of the time when I look at the scholarships they're applying to, they are the wrong scholarships. So in today's video, I will briefly go over how to build a scholarship list, especially for high school students, because building that list, making sure the right scholarships on, are on there, making sure we're doing in the right timing is so important. And if we don't get this right, then we can have the best essay and it won't get us anywhere. So if you have a high school student, then you need to listen up because this is a critical, critical part of your paying for college process. Now make sure you hit subscribe because every week we release a new strategy to help your family work towards that debt-free degree. Hey there, my name is Jocelyn Pearson, founder of The Scholarship System, and this is what we do. Scholarships are our bread and butter. In fact, I got six figures. I literally got paid to go to college and our families have now surpassed over $12.2 million in scholarships. So we have helped so many families, thousands and thousands of families build the best scholarship list for their student. Now I will say this is focused on US citizens and residents. So this is not for international students. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into why the list is important. So I briefly touched on this, but really, if we build a list of 200 scholarships and half of them or more are based on luck or sweepstakes or they're just not legitimate scholarships, then we are wasting our time. Even if they don't take that long, if we're spending 10, 15, 20 minutes on each one, that adds up to a lot of time. So one of the first and most important steps of building a scholarship list is knowing what to look for for a legitimate scholarship and what to look for for a scam. Now I have a free training, it's an hour long. I give you exact examples of this. So if you wanna register for that, you can go to the scholarshipsystem.com slash free training, or you can find the link to all of the resources I'm going to share in today's video in the description at the end. Now, in addition to understanding that we are putting legitimate scholarships on our list, the next aspect of this is understanding timing. So believe it or not, scholarships open up as early as August for the following school year. So say your student is a senior in high school, then starting that August, September, they should already start working on scholarships. A lot of families make the mistake of waiting until spring semester. Now, if that's you, then that's okay. It's not too late because that the, there are scholarships all the way through the summer months as well. But if we wait until spring semester, then we just missed out on September through December of scholarship deadlines. But like I said, the good news is that there are scholarship deadlines all throughout the year. So we also, a lot of students will stop in May but then they're missing out on June, July, and potentially August deadlines as well. So August is kind of where some people will do last minute deadlines, some people already start deadlines for the following year. Now, just to prove my point on this, in the scholarship system, we have given out scholarships every single year for the last, I think, eight or nine years, since 20, 2015. And our deadline is not until July, So, and that is for money for that fall. So that just is a perfect example of a very late deadline. So we don't wanna stop in May, but we also don't wanna wait until spring to start this process. Then as far as school years, our students, we need to focus on them no later than junior year if we can, but we can continue applying all throughout college. And believe it or not, there are scholarships out there for kids as young as four years old. So really it's never too early to begin this. Now in the scholarship system, it's based on six steps. One of the steps is entirely focused on building the list, okay? So if you wanna learn more about that, again, check out that free training. It's about 45 minutes of free training and then you'll learn more about the scholarship system. So again, you can go to the scholarshipsystem.com slash free training to learn more about that or check out the links in the description. But today I wanna give you a few pointers on specifically how to build that list and where to look. So first and foremost, we always want to look local. Local scholarships will typically be, your student will be eligible because 
they're local based, uh, but also they are typically less competitive. In fact, I won a local scholarship where they were giving out four awards. They had, oh, sorry, they were giving out two awards. They had four applicants. And so they actually reached out to the donors, asked them to rematch whatever they donated, doubled the amount and gave all four of us a scholarship. So it was literally a 100% success rate as long as you submitted an application. This is what I love about local scholarships. And believe me, I am not the only one with stories like this. We have tons of families that reach out to us and say, oh my gosh, you are right. You would never believe what just happened. We even had scholarships reach out to our students who had won it from the previous year saying they didn't get any applicants. Do you need more money? And of course the answer is yes. And so they just got a scholarship without even applying. Now, when we're talking about looking local, we're talking about credit unions, banks, doctor's offices, lawyer's offices. You can even look at construction companies. A great way to do this is to think of places that you go to and ask them if they offer scholarships. Again, in that free training, I also teach you how to use Google to find those local scholarships. Another way to look local is actually going through the guidance office. So a lot of times organizations will send the guidance office scholarships. A lot of times nowadays, they the office will put them on to their website or inside Navions or Blackboard or whatever it is that you all use to manage your students' homework and assignments and stuff. But sometimes they don't do that. They'll just throw, they'll print it out and throw it in a manila folder inside a filing cabinet. So I actually always tell our students to go into the guidance office and ask about scholarships. Another cool way to build a list is actually to look at the previous commencement announcements or the commencement book where it lists all the scholarships that the seniors received. So we can do this as a senior from this previous year if you can get your hands on it. But if you have a student that's a junior, then this upcoming year with the graduations, grab one of those so that you know where to look for next fall. Now, another way to build a list is to do searches based on your students' passions and activities. Again, I cover that in detail in that free training. And then lastly, there are tons of lists online. Now, I actually am a, more of a fan of a updated list as say a blog post, which you would find on our website. I'll give you a link in just a second, but versus say the big search engines. A lot of times the search engines have those sweepstake scholarships that are based on luck. So we just have to be careful on what we're putting on our list. But we have, if you go to the scholarshipsystem.com slash scholarship list, we update that link throughout the year for our latest scholarships. So right now at the time of recording this, we are in December. And so right now we have our December list for students to apply to over their break. Now just know it will take more time to sift through these lists, but that is what makes them less competitive because a lot of students are not willing to do that. Now comment below, what grade is your student in and are you doing the scholarship process? Are you building a list? Are you already applying? Let us know in the comments and I can comment back and give you some tips, but I'd be curious to know if you're watching this, what year are is your student in? So that said, again, building that list, that is the foundation of the scholarship process. That's why we have an entire step dedicated just to building a legitimate list because if you're student is applying to ones that are not legitimate or are based on luck or are just scams, then they're wasting their time. And what's going to happen is they will get just frustrated and they will think that scholarships aren't a real thing. They won't be willing to do the work anymore and they'll just be burnt out and we won't get any money for college. That's not what we want to happen. Instead, we want them to get a win, get that taste of the money, see that it's possible so that they really get that fire under their butt and they keep on applying. So this is why it's critical that when we're applying to scholarships, we make sure they are legitimate we make sure their timing is right. We make sure the list is quality. This is what we teach at the scholarship system. Again, we have an entire course on this. You can learn more in the description, but this is so important to, to build a foundation for your student's success with scholarships. All right, again, don't forget to hit subscribe because every week we release a new strategy on working towards that debt-free degree. Again, this is Jocelyn with the scholarship system. I hope to see you in the next video.